the Yaesu finally came out with a better battery charger for the FT60 and other HTs. That's the F Yaesu FT60. Now this battery charger, you don't need the radio attached like the big rapid charger they have. You have to drop in the radio for it'll charge up the battery as far as I can see. Now this battery, I don't like that. The battery packs, they get hot, man. And putting the heat on your radio, that's not very good. It's like leaving your radio out in the sunlight, you know. So, see this battery charger? The cord just plugs in the back of it. You know, you can also probably get a plug for a cigarette lighter to plug in the back of it, plug in your cigarette lighter in your vehicle and charge it up while you drive. Now, I don't know if you noticed this. There's a little slot right there. See that slot? That's, that was there for a reason. It just... Okay, why not use... Make sure it slips in like that. It locks the battery in place so it can charge. Make sure to, make sure you install it in the slots. If you look at your Yaesu FT60 battery or any other Yaesu model, they have that slot in the battery. Now that's an Amazon battery. You need batteries? And I don't know how quality this is, but I ran it all night, it seemed to work pretty good. Today I'm going to charge it up the first time. I got that battery from Amazon. Two batteries. Two batteries for the price you buy them at Ham Radio Outlet. Okay. Like I said, I like this battery pack, but this battery charger better than the other models that Yaesu has. Because you don't have to have your HT. So you can plug in one battery pack. Plug in the other battery, new, the fresh battery in your radio. Use it while this one charges up. It's a slow charger. Maybe about three hours. Your battery's fully charged up. There's a light on it. It lights up. No, I know this. Uh, I tried to charge up my old battery pack. Within 15 minutes, the battery light would turn off. Because it went off, it meant the battery pack was bad. So I had to order new batteries. I got them through Amazon. So anyhow, like I said, I like it better because those battery packs get hot. Okay, you can almost burn yourself on them. So, may want to put on a pair of gloves and pull out that battery so you don't burn your hand. But I, a long time ago, I sent Yay through an email complaining about I didn't like the idea how you drop in your bat radio and with battery on it to charge up. And, uh, it would, uh, I didn't like that uh, it getting hot on the radio. I didn't think that was a good idea. But if I got my other battery pack and, uh, my rapid charger and, uh, storage. So I have to dig that out see if it has those slots, but I never, I didn't notice it, but. So. One thing I told you is to make a battery charger where you can just drop in the battery by itself in to charge up. Anyhow, get this battery charger for your handheld. It might be slower, but it's actually better to charge your batteries up slower than fast. You know, like on motorcycle batteries, uh, they don't charge those up fast. They use a trickle charger. Because you try to put those on uh, a 10 amp scale, a 50 amp scale, you end up frying the battery, so I mean, your battery life will last longer because you're not charging them up fast. These batteries probably last, oh, maybe about a year, a year and a half. So, now what somebody need, ASU needs to do, make a battery pack. That thing, but it's not batteries. Because the old ICOM 2AT has a little adapters plugged in and 
It would make you use the radio with that adapter and just plug it in the cigarette lighter. That's what you need to do make for these radios. It just slips in the back of the radio and you plug in the cigarette lighter and you can run your radio. Uh, I don't think it's advised to run the radio while it's in the charger. So you may want to confirm on that. Yeah, this is a lot better battery charger, I think. Like I said, you're not exposing the radio to heat. Yeah, this is an Amazon battery. You just don't have the little logo, the original radio battery your radio comes with. Then on that, it's the same battery without the ASU logo on it. And the sticker here it says, do not throw in the trash can. Yeah, I think I got like two battery packs, like 35 bucks. Now this, I think I read this is a 1600 milliamp and the one that HR has is a 1400 milliamp. Possibly I think you can get an 1800 milliamp battery pack for your FT60. So look up on Amazon, check them out, type in the model number of the radio and it'll give the number, the FNB, all that stuff. This, this works on this radio, so it takes this battery pack. Yeah, see? The charger just plugs in the back. So you can probably plug that into a cigarette lighter adapter. Set it where you can maybe put some Velcro on, the, on it somewhere so it don't fall over the car. See if I can focus this in. My sight ain't as good as it used to. Anyways, Yaesu came out with a better battery charger for the radio. I think they're only like $34. So they're not expensive. So you want to get this battery charger for your handheld radio. Because you don't want to get, like, this is hot. It almost burns your hands. And that's just like cooking the electronics inside your radio. You want to be able to charge your battery without it being on the radio. Just order an extra battery so you can play with it while the other one's charging. It may take three hours. Like I said, it's better probably to charge the battery up slow. And it is doing a rapid charger because you're actually frying the battery pack. Alright, catch you later. Like I said, I, I sent a complaint to Yesu about this. I, I didn't like the idea that the battery pack got hot and, and it was being on the radio. and That's like leaving your radio out in the sunlight. So, no, no, that's a no-no. Alright. If you don't have to have the, uh, unless you're committed to buying the ASU product for ASU, but this is one made for ASU, but not by ASU. It's probably the same company that builds their battery pack in the first place. They just don't put the logo on it. All right, two batteries from Amazon for like 35 bucks, I think I paid. So, check it out that way. I really don't like buying things through the internet. I'd, I'd rather touch it in my hand, feel it, and all that stuff. All right. But Yesu, you need to come out with a dual band radio, all mode, FM with sideband, compete with Bullfang's cheap HTs and uh, mobile radios. Alright, thank you. Bye.